Hi, uh, um, my name is Miss Payton and I'm a psychology teacher at the John Rhodes School. So in year nine, our new psychology students have one task, which is to carry out some research in an area that they're interested in. And um, this term, some year nine students are really interested in finding out whether different teaching styles or leadership styles might affect the learning outcomes of a group of students. And so they set about uh, setting up an experiment to test out this hypothesis. Today we'll be talking to you about different learning environments and how they affect your learning. Um, we're in the psychology department and this is an experiment we took out of you. Yeah. Our aim was to see how a learning environment affects learning. We had three environments, a strict environment, a laissez-faire environment. A laissez-faire environment means that it's very laid back, relaxed, lazy, and a democratic environment. Right, so teacher one, the strict teacher, had a minimal consultation, what he said was word, and lots of command and control. The democratic teacher shared leadership with the group and took in information as well as giving it out. And the laissez-faire teacher had very little input and the student had freedom to do what they think is best. Our hypothesis was that group A, the teacher one, the authoritarian teacher, will create more boxes compared to the other two groups because of the style and the level of respect for said authority. We plan to each one will give the nearest identical boxes. Um, our participants with you lot um, year seven students. Okay, so first we gave you pens for making boxes. And then we briefly explained that the boxes are for display. We gave you instructions according to your environment and then we were taking the boxes and then they are also. Here's our results. Um, it's not clear at first, so we'll explain to you what our system was. Um, as you can see here, the results show that strict has a lot of higher scores than democratic and laissez faire. You got two points, I mean, you got six points uh, for colouring in every side of the box. Um, this is from a strict route. You can see that it's well formed, it's been cut out, it's been folded, and it's been cut in correctly. You got another two points uh, for um, cutting it out properly and sticking it together, so that equals up to four points, and the overall score was out of ten points. Um, these are from different groups. So this is from our last AFM group, this is from our democratic group, and this is from our strict group. You can clearly see there is a difference between the development of the boxes. We found that the leader of the group is strict, they will get identical results. And um, whereas in democratic, it will get more creative results. Have you any questions? Um, well, uh, why did you do this experiment? Like, what were you trying to achieve from the whole thing? Um, we thought this would be an interesting experiment to conduct because it's something that affects us in our everyday lives. Um, it would also be very interesting to see if what teaching environment actually does affect our learning. Any more? Hannah? What do you feel could happen if you did the experiment with a different group of children? I think we would just increase our amount of data and we have fair results but um, there would be more to look at. So. Any more questions? Because mm -hmm. um, we're very well behaved people, would it change the results if we change behaviour? Um, I think that would be a lot more interesting because we could also see if um, what teaching environment affects different groups of children. For you, it was quite well behaved, even though the strict environment did work a lot better on you, but I think it would also help a lot of teachers to see what teaching environment affects different groups of children. Any more questions? Emily? After seeing these results, do you think teachers will change their style of teaching? I think um, if they were to change their style, then it'd be, they should try different ones to fit their own class. Yeah, because each class is different, so yeah. it would be it would help a lot to see if you were a lot stricter, would that get more work done, or if you were a lot more democratic, would the children have a lot more fun? Um, in, we have our own ready rules which promote creativity, um, which is a lot which relates a lot to the democratic environment. So I think that democratic environment should be tried out in each classroom as it already is.